hello everyone today we'll be talking about the case and control study so in the case and control study we have the case and the control so before talking about the case and control study I would like to talk about the study design so there are many uh, study design so based upon the research or uh, we have to know which design should we used so there are study designs like uh, there is study designs like RCT which is called the randomized control trial there is also the study design called the cohort study there is another research design called cross-sectional study and as we know there is the case control study so the case control study is a kind of retrospective study so what does this retrospective means means we are looking backward so we are looking backward so at first what we find we find the which person have the disease for example if we are going to find the association between the lung cancer with smoke this with the among the smoker so then after we find the lung cancer suppose we find the total number of the lung cancer patients is 20 and then after what we find we find the exposure and on exposure so where a year the exposure will be the smoking so suppose 15 of this lung cancer patient is smoke then it is placed on this exposed group and again so if the 5% of the 5 people doesn't smoke then it will be placed in the on exposed group so you have to take in consideration among the 20 lung cancer patient 50 smokes 5 doesn't smoke so similarly what about the control so I have taken I have told that these controls are free of disease so it means here the control does not have the lung cancer so they have they are up to now uh, they, they have no lung cancer so now suppose we have taken the 30 control then after we have to find how many of the people doesn't smoke for example uh, five people doesn't smoke and remaining 25 percent smokes okay so what we have done here so we have just you know categorize the cases and control into the exposed and the non-exposed group so why this is necessary this is necessary to find the association between the lung cancer and the smoke so as earlier i have told that the uh, in the case and control study so we will be looking for the or we're looking for the association we will be looking for the association of uh, you know the lung cancer with the smoking so the association between the lung cancer and smoking can be determined by the calculating the odds ratio so if we can calculate the odds ratio then we can we find the association between the lung cancer and smoking so how we can find the odds ratio it is very simple so as earlier so there is the cases which is the diseased one and there is the control which is the non diseased one so so suppose in the earlier study what we have done we have taken the 20 cases and 30 non cases or control so among the 30 so if 15 are exposed this means the exposure means here smoker and this is the non smoker and <coughs> five doesn't smoke so long cancer patient 15 smokers five non smokers in the 30 control five are smokers and 25 are non smoker so how we can find the odds ratio so simply the odds ratio is the like the odds of cases so what is the odds of cases that is the a by c is the odds of cases then you can find the odds of control so the odds of control will be the 5 by 25 which is b by d which is 5 by 25 you can write it or not okay so now how can find the odds, odds ratio the odds ratio means 
the ratio of the odds of cases by the ratio of odds of control that is the odds ratio so here you can find odds that cases was exposed odds that case control were <coughs> exposed so you can find it as like this multiplication of uh, a into d and c into d you can find the odds ratio so i have one example here please have a look so <coughs> this is the lung cancer cases so in the lung cancer you can see among uh, 649 cases 647 were smokers and two were non-smokers similarly in the control group we have taken 649 uh, control group in which 622 is the smoker and rest is the non-smokers so <coughs> so how can we find the odds ratio so the odds ratio is like odds of cases which is a by uh, a by d a, a by b so it's like a by sorry it's like a by c sorry okay uh, or you can simply write 647 by uh, 2 which is equal to 323.5 so similarly odds of cases uh, which will be the b y d which is 622 divided by 27 is equal to uh, 23 uh, point zero three so twenty three point zero three so what is the odds ratio so the ratio of odds by cases and odds by uh, control so odds by cases and odds by control will be the odds ratio so it will be like uh, three hundred twenty three point five divided by twenty three point zero three which will be fourteen point fourteen point one percent so here we find the association between the lung cancer and smoke so we find the association between the lung cancer and smoke so what does this mean so what does this value means this means that smokers have for, for uh, or smokers are 14.1 times more at risk to have lung cancer than non-smokers so here this means that the smokers have 14.1 percent more chances to suffer from lung cancer than those of the non-smokers so in this way in the case control study we can find the odds ratio thank you for watching my video please subscribe the channel share the video like the video and you have any comments please comment me in the comment box thank you